It all began around 9 o'clock on a Monday night. Found a guy who was converting a van into a little van home while browsing YouTube. And that's when I knew I had to do the same. AKA become a copycat. <laughs> After searching the internet for a new van, I came across one listed for $35,000 by someone named Dr. Phil. I contacted Dr. Phil via the website and requested to see it. He agreed and sent me the location. I went to bed right away and woke up really early the next morning. So I changed so quickly that I probably broke a world record before heading to a location. When I arrived, this person named Dr. Phil greeted me and I returned his greeting. The van was for sale and he gave me a 360 view of it. While shopping for a van, I was looking for how much space there was inside. This one was perfect. Since the van was on sale, I began discussing numbers with Dr. Phil. Then agreed on a price of $30,000. I drew out some cash, gave me the keys to the van, and then the wind swept him away. I asked, where are you going? His response, wherever the wind takes. Me. At the end of the day, I got my van, and I'm more than happy, so let's get started, y'all. So I just bought a van from a guy named Dr. Phil, and I am going to finally start renovating it. We just went over some inspiration. In order to make my vision come to life, I prepared a table here with equipment like some paint, screwdriver, a wrench, a hammer, a paint roller, spray paint, and I forgot what that's called, but yeah. So this is what we're working with. This van is just a normal, regular dangler thinking van that is just for work and to transport stuff, you know, that don't fit in a normal, regular size car. Luckily for us, I fit it in. Y'all, and just look at the space in here. It's actually pretty massive for like myself. Wow, definitely can see a van life home here. Definitely. Oh my gosh. Let's get started. So without further ado, Bruh. oh my gosh. If you guys are wondering where exactly I am located, I am located in a public parking that I rented out for like a couple of days because my apartment doesn't have space for this dog. Thank you to the mayor. Yes, I'm best friends. It's got my dad's best friends with the mayor, so I don't freaking know how that happened, but we're not gonna complain. We're just gonna get started with this rental. <laughs> Much better. I was forgetting my headphones. Why not? Why not? Let's not start fighting because me and you always be fighting in every single video because obviously I have my own opinion too. Okay, let me shut up. <laughs> First step is we gotta knock down this wall right here because this is going to be preventing me from going in and out and I want easy access. I don't want to just have to go out of the truck and then open the door and then get in there because I feel like that's just waste of time. So let's remove the wall. Oh my gosh, y'all, that was a lot of work. Took me a whole two hours just to knock down that wall. At least we're done with the most hardest part of this project yet. Maybe that wasn't even the hardest part. That was probably the most easiest part. What am I talking about? Now we got so much more space. It's so spacious, you guys. Literally, look, I can walk in and out, in and out. <gasps> ah! Call me at 1-800-Amelia Construction Worker. Um... Yeah, we gotta obviously let some sunlight in. So there's these windows here. Right now they're covered with like this wood material. So we gotta sew through them in order to like open this window up. <laughs> So I just finished making some windows inside the van. These are the windows. They're very cute and for me they work perfectly. Now that we got the windows done and out of the way and the wall, we officially start by adding our flooring and walls to cover up this like iron type stuff because that is the support system of this van and without that, mm, I'm gonna be crushed. Literally, I'm gonna be wanting to sleep and like a tree can fall on top of me. I'll be like, Grr. you know? To make this van livable, I need to isolate it with insulation. If you don't know what that means, it's basically making this van livable because if I were to sleep here right now, it could either be too hot or too cold. The van is made out of metal. Isolated with some rubber or sound isolation stuff. And then I'm also going to use some rock wall on top of that as the main insulation. After that, the vapor barrier, which will keep in all like the warm heat inside. So I don't, I'm not freezing to literally death at night. <laughs> and lastly, some wood. I 
I got an update. I said I was gonna install the walls and I did. I also ended up installing the floor and the roof. Or should I call it the ceiling? And it looks so much better. It's a driver and passenger seat and there's just some updates that needs to be done, of course. But I've added some storage area up here in the top. I had to add the storage area. This van is already small enough and we need a lot of storage. If we walk out here, I became an electrician. I'm just kidding. No, I said shit up on YouTube. I was like, how to connect the lights and stuff like that. Anyways, I need light and power inside of my van. I installed this power generator that is connected with wires and all that stuff. Yeah. And I also called a van company that does houses like this to help me install it. I bought it. They installed it. And then over here, they made like a cut in here. Put all like water tanks and stuff like that in there. So there's a lot that goes into this before the decorating part. It was a very tedious task, but I'm so happy that it got done. I finally have some lights in my van. Like, okay, okay, okay. Let's begin the painting makeover! The way this van is turning out is actually so amazing to me. I literally am enjoying every single bit of it, even the most difficult task. I don't like, guys, what the, this does not look like a van. This looks like a home. I just finished painting the walls, adding the flooring, fixing any imperfections so I can actually start decorating and, and bringing in furniture into the van. Start building the structure from the inside. We bathroom, our kitchen, and that's it because we can only fit a bathroom in a kitchen. And from our little whiteboard we did earlier, I got some ideas. So let's go ahead and start building. Oh my gosh, my voice. <clears throat> Super excited to show you guys my van home or whatever you want to call it, like tiny home. I I don't know the correct word to use. I'll do research. I'll do research later. It's not decorated yet, but it does have the structure where my bed is gonna be, my bathroom, and my dining table, my kitchen. You know, come inside. <laughs> Welcome to my crib. Not like a baby crib, y'all. Like, okay, we get it. It's all I've just added right now. It's so freaking... Oh my gosh, I'm, I just can't. Cute, all organized, and very, like, tiny living home. I love it all so much. And I really didn't think all of this was gonna be able to fit here, but it all managed to fit in here, and I'm just so happy from the way it turned out. Now, the very last thing that I do need in order to have this van be 100% complete is decorating it. So I'm gonna add some bed sheets and stuff like that, and I'll be right back. Show you guys the end result i'm so excited i've been working on this literally the entire day oh and the van company also helped me so i had a lot of help okay super excited to show you guys my new completed van home oh my gosh i'm so excited come on in so i wanted it to be very much homey like so obviously i had to add my pink colors don't ask why just you know, go with it. Coming into your left, you have the driver and passenger seat. Very basic, very normal stuff. You know, just to simply get around from destination to destination. And we have my beautiful kitchen. It's so freaking pretty to me. And it's a perfect size for me. I don't need a big one. It's literally just a perfect size. A lot of storage, functional. Forgot to show you guys this very cute, like, little dining table area slash office space. It also has a beautiful mirror. Because, again, a house cannot be a house without a big mirror. It's not a big mirror, but it has a mirror y'all it works so i had to order a custom door for my bathroom and it's going to be delivered in tomorrow because i got express delivery y'all had to pay a hundred dollars for that overnight shit I'll be able to install that tomorrow. But look at this a beautiful bathroom. It has a toilet and a shower. Literally, what more could one ask for? It's so beautiful. Most favorite part of this entire van that I cannot wait to show you guys. It's so freaking comfy. And oh my gosh, I cannot wait to sleep here. You guys ready? My bed! Look at how cozy it looks. Oh my gosh. Like the comforter fit perfectly. The pillows, my little area. And I get to open the door for the outside. Yeah, that's actually actually crazy yo look at this it's so freaking oh my gosh i really gotta stop saying that it just fits so perfectly but yeah you guys i really do hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you did please consider giving it a big thumbs up also consider subscribing it is totally free commenting down below what was your favorite part of today's video sharing this video with anyone you know or think may enjoy these types of videos following me on all my social media platforms 
I'll be linked in the description. Overall, I want to say a huge thank you to you guys for watching today's video. It really means a lot to me. I love reading you guys' comments. Just you watching this video means a lot to me. Remember, I love you guys so much and God loves you so much. And I cannot wait to start this van life journey. Yes, I am taking credits from Natalie Cuevas because, bro, that, that videos were so good. Like, me too. And from the guy that built in the van. So. so I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye, class. Oh my gosh, that my voice, y'all. Good night. Yes, I live in a whole apartment, but I still want this. Okay, let me be. Thank you. Should I say penthouse? Alrighty. Bye, guys. Love you guys so much.